Hello ladies and gentlemen who watch my channel, most importantly who subscribe my channel and support my channel. I just want to say to those people who watch my channel, support it, like, comment and subscribe. I just want to say thank you very much for that. Um, all helps, it really does. Um, so basically, um, this is an update. Funny enough, look, there's a van. It wasn't a van there the other day, there is one now. Um, basically, this is an update about the... Uh, video paranoid police officer handcuffs me for walking out in public and looking at him okay so just an update uh legal procedures are happening now i've just put in a with uh aiden the solicitor uh we're going to um sue okay there's going to be obviously that that then goes down as a complaint when the solicitor puts in this claim it'll go down as a complaint so yeah complaint and a sue it's going to happen okay I, I'm not making the, um, I've told the solicitor what happened, he's going to then make the complaint and then he's going to sue. Uh, so this is already being put in, this is already solid, so I haven't just let this be, just for you guys worrying, because I know a lot of you guys have been very um, interested in it. And yeah, so let me just explain my behaviour that day and understand, um, so yes, I was polite actually, and it was wrong, I mean that day I, I had a very good day. I, I to, to put it straight, there's this woman I'm seeing and she texted me actually just when I was walking out and I was very happy and jolly. And uh, yeah, I was too polite to the police officer, but the, the reality is, I mean, if I had a swore, bitched and moaned about it, would it have done anything? No. And also, uh, you know, I, I kind of in the back of my head, I knew I was going to sue and I had money coming my way because of what he did. However, and this is a big but, it's it was still wrong and that won't be happening again now another thing um i've been i'm sure a previous video you've seen i've been uh, looking for legal advice regarding defending myself against police officers okay um i've always been extremely wary of this because uh first of all uh if you look on up on black he confirms that i knew this before this but if you look on black belt barrister in the beginning i don't like to really promote his channel really but anyway um for various reasons but anyway he um in his self-defense against police video there's this thing if you like basically punch a police you can actually be done for um intent uh which basically means like wounding with intent which is quite serious and also i've been looking at other legal advice and it's been very wishy-washy but and this is a big but as far as i'm concerned uh it is legal to defend yourself against a lawful police officer doing unlawful things. And regardless of those consequences, from now on, I am, if this situation ever happens again like this, I'm gonna just defend myself now. I don't care about the legal consequences anymore. I mean, the replies I've been getting, I've been talking to, well, two solicitors and they've been quite wishy-washy. They, they don't really know. They all seem to be of the same opinion that you shouldn't do it no matter what, but, Let's be honest, I mean, this is getting silly now. You know, I don't want to be a normal auditor who just gets handcuffs, sh shouts and spatters and then just sues, okay? I think auditing needs to take a new path. I'm, I'm going to try and be the uh, figurehead for that new path. And I think that new path is using self-defense against unlawful searches and stuff. That, that has to be the, the way forward now. Because it's getting just, you know, it's just a bit wanky, isn't it? Just shouting and spluttering and, and then just suing afterwards it, it, you know it doesn't actually do anything these police officers are still walking around they're still their egos are attacked and they're still just operating you, we all know the complaints process won't do anything I, i'm not expecting anything big to come from that video i'm talking about in terms of uh, retribution he won't be retributed let's be honest i will very likely be getting money from the force that um now what that means really, I don't know what that means. Probably means not a huge much. I mean, I think, you know, look, I think police officers do get in trouble for if you sue, but not enough. Okay, let's be honest. And um, I think a few of you guys have already mentioned in the comments that you said, well, it's come, just coming out of our pockets anyway. And you've got a point. I mean, there's a small thing. I mean, it does affect a little bit, but not much. So yeah, that's the way forward. So from now on, and how do you know what I'm saying is gonna be true? Because this video is gonna be kept up. And if I don't 
stay to my word, then you can all unsubscribe and you can know that this channel's no good and I'm a liar. In regards to stop and searches on the terrorism act outside police stations, I'm probably not going to use self-defense for that because they have got a wide range. But away from police stations, if I've got any unlawful stop and searches or arrests or anything, to, even when it's to do with um, the terror act, I will been using force from now on and any police officer watching this if you want to try me and test me on that you can try and test me on that so that's what's going to be happening from now on i'm going to be the first auditor to figurehead this and i'm going to hopefully change hopefully it goes okay on the other side if it doesn't then so be it sometimes i think we have to go to prison for our rights don't we at the end of the day um so that's what's going to be happening from from now on i'm gonna be using uh force against any police officer who unlawfully detains me or unlawfully tries to unlawfully arrest me away from police stations. I can't, outside a police station, look, you know, they've got a wide range of suspicious powers, and I, I, you know. But if that an incident like that ever happens again, you will see it. And uh, I will be filming it, of course. Live streaming it. I always live stream because, obviously, I want footage to be kept. I don't want it to be deleted. Footage is very important in court and stuff. And my initial intention is obviously to get away with it. If I don't get away with it, then no, that's going to be a shame. But, you know, I think things need to change. You know, this site, you know, the only way we can make police officers accountable, let's be honest, if we start using, I think, my personal opinion, self-defense. I'm probably going to be the first order to do this. And we'll see how this goes on. So... We'll see if any police officer tries to detain me or anything again outside my flat. If they do, then I'm going to be using force. And we'll see how that goes, okay? Anyway, so thanks. That's, that's how I've... Please uh, give your comments in this video and see. I'd like to hear them. I've made my mind up. Once I make my mind up, that's it. This channel, this video will, will remain on my channel for good. And it's part of uh, keeping my word, so... Your next live stream, if you do see it and it's outside my house or on the street and it's completely unlawful, then you're going to see me using force <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Um, you know, it is risky. I mean, you know, the problem with it, you have to use reasonable force. I mean, what force is reasonable against them? a grown man trying to handcuff you? Let's be honest. It's, you know, the only reasonable force in my opinion is, is, is quite strong force really, isn't it? To overpower a man who's trying to overpower you. Right? So anyway, but that's how it's going to have to be from now on. Um, if I do go to prison, uh, the good thing about it is it won't be for that long. Be a couple of months or something. I'm guessing. Um, if I do it right. But yeah, it has to be done. Anyway, leave my co uh, the comments and stuff. This auditing channel is going to be different to other new uh, auditing channels. Um, I'm going to give an update once I get that money in for that assault case unlawful search i'm gonna let you know all the other by the way i'm gonna at some point in the week because I, I i haven't really let you guys know but all those other terrible videos you've seen they've all been sued unfortunately not the uh, arrest in the sainsbury's which was unlawful but a corrupt judge a non-independent one no jury said you know convicted me but uh all the other things literally apart from that video all the other ones have been sued I've successfully sued them. I do never, just a passing note, final note, I never let them just get away with it scot-free. They get away with it because obviously the system, you know, their police system's crap, but they don't get, you know, I always sue them. They never get away with it from that end, okay? So this channel is not a defeatist channel, and going forward, uh, like I said, I'm going to be the first auditor to attempt to news defense against an unlawful stop and search away from the police station again police stations have a wide range of suspicious sus powers okay however away from police stations i will be using self-defense anyway that's the uh the, i'm just turning away camera there somewhere walking past that's how it's going to be so stay tuned to this channel like subscribe if you want to have i'd like to hear your comments and that's your update thank you bye